Hi, Sue. Hi, Mayor. <laughs> Come on in. Hi. You're going to have to squeeze a little bit. Okay. I'll... Yeah, okay. Got Sorry it. about that. Yeah, oh. can you? Yeah, just my push my tummy in a little bit. Okay. Hi. Hi. So. Hmm. It's cluttered. Just needs to be straightened out. I don't think it's horrifying or, you know, I still love you. It doesn't make any difference to me at all. So, hey. It's fine. I sleep um, just in this section here. and uh, I guess I'd go for this way. But the thing is, this must, must add, like, so much stress to your life. Yeah. Leaving it in the mess is not, I don't think, is stressful. I think what's stressful is trying to address it. That's yeah. stressful. I'll get oh. it. I got it. Oh. That's the hazard of this place. Yeah. But you didn't do anything wrong. Bye. Bye. Thanks, man. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye. Oh, brother. It makes me really sad. It makes me really sad. It took a lot for her to let me come over and see it. So I don't think any less of her at all. And I love her to death. I really do. But she really needs help. Maureen has made huge progress by letting her cousin in. But it's just the first leg of a long journey. And it may still be several years before she's able to get rid of all her things. I think I've really been broken. And the mending might be, you know, it's kind of hard. But that was a big step, letting Mary in. Yeah. Aren't you proud of yourself? I am proud of myself. <laughs> actually thank you for pointing that to me yes I am Oop. Oop. that's a pile I made today when I was looking for other stuff I'm gonna have to rearrange it's a week after Roy's intervention faced with an ultimatum from his family he's reluctantly agreed to let his daughter Rachel help him clear his hoard Fearing the worst, Karen's decided to stay out of it and left the house for the day. I think he thinks that Rachel's come today to help him, and I think Rachel has other ideas, and I think there could be a bit of conflict this afternoon, really. Rachel has chosen to empty one of the least cluttered rooms in the house, her old bedroom. Eight years ago, Roy filled it with his dead aunt's things, and even though many of them are worthless, he refuses to bin them, but he has agreed to sort them to sell. Yeah. I'm hoping that in the next 24 hours, there is virtually nothing left that is going to stay. Throw. What are they? They are packaging from Christmas puddings and syrup sponges and the like. That's what I rather Throw them in the bin. So trouble with yeah, this. but Dad, you're wasting time. I'm not wasting time, oh, but fine. not anywhere near. The well, why? Just leave them there. No, not where I'm clearing. <sighs> that can be thrown, surely. Uh, Rachel, please, yeah, Dad, one job need, at a yeah. Stamps yeah. by the trillion. Put them on the floor. Oh, don't, don't, don't mix. Don't be careful. Damage the paintings here. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long day. Be They're not going to you sell mouldy things. These are mouldy. Nobody You'd is going to surprised. sell something that is an environmental health hazard. He just gets very defensive, I suppose. He really has got the most compartmentalised brain. And if you try and change his train of thought, it just, he just can't cope with it at all. After eight hours of work, Roy's only made a dent in the room. So will he stick to the task and accept Rachel's help? 
Or, unable to conquer his demons, will he put his family's happiness on the line once again? In Staffordshire, two weeks after the intervention, the pennies finally dropped for Roy. After much thought, he's recognised the impact of his hoarding on others. Having uh, had my eyes open, as it were, where I hadn't previously realised just how antisocial, perhaps, what had seemed quite normal to me had become. Was it very hard? Yes, because it was changing a habit of a lifetime, you might say. Because of this breakthrough, Roy has taken the big step of allowing his daughter to clear her room. But with another 10 to empty, has his epiphany come too late for his wife, Karen? This is what I'm talking about. What's all this on the floor? That's, and this? that's what I'm working through, isn't it? Is it? Yes. I think bits of paper like this you could possibly entrust me to dispose of. For Roy, like other hoarders, things have always taken precedence over his relationships. And although he accepted his daughter's help, he still won't allow Karen to clear the house. This business of trust is the crux. But I don't feel trusted. No. Just have to sit and tolerate it. No, you don't have to. I don't, don't I don't have any option. You can, Except leaving. You can see that we're getting better all the time. Yes, I can see. Well, then. I think you'll find in many other situations like this, a lot of a lot of people would have left already. That's not the point I'm making. Though. No. That's why I think you'll find a lot of hoarders live on their own, because they've driven everybody else out. Although Roy has finally recognised that he hoards, only time will tell if he is able to accept Karen's help. And until the house is cleared, they won't be able to rebuild their marriage. Only 10% of hoarders ever come to the attention of the authorities, and they're unlikely to stop hoarding unless they receive expert help. It's been eight weeks since William was cleared out by the council. He's already bringing other people's rubbish back in and remains unable to throw out any of his own. William's also become more isolated. He's only left his house once by day and has started hoarding his own waste again. What's in that? Something that's gone off, I think. Have you been using it for the loo? Might have done. It doesn't bother you keeping it. That's what I mean now. William has relapsed once again. But having an emptier house has brought back memories of when he moved there, age 10. And he started to realise that his hoarding may well be connected to his family past. William is his parents' only child, and although they'd both been married before, he doesn't know any of his half-siblings. My father was something of an Alf Garnet sort of character, he was something of a heavy drinker, he was often violent towards both me and my mum. And I think that's probably had has an effect on me. When his father died, William's relationship with his mother deteriorated and his hoarding started in earnest. She sort of would go on about her first son from her first marriage and now she should never have left him. So I suppose you could say that she filled me up with all her rubbish, so I've ended up filling her house up with rubbish. For 48-year-old William, things have replaced people. And as long as he lives on his own, hoarding will always be his way of life. I'm probably not in what most people would call a good position for being at my age. It might be a good idea perhaps to think about maybe getting back to work. That would be nice, I suppose. Or perhaps even find myself a partner. And perhaps some friends.
find out more about obsessive compulsive disorder and the help available, visit channel4.com slash health. Next on 4, premarital cult feet turn to blocks of ice in Peep Show. <laughs> <laughs>